I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning. First thing on the agenda, 845, we got Dirk Rogers, Highway Superintendent with a few things. How are you this morning? I'm good. Good. I'm good. Where do you want to start? Well, we'll do right away. I have seven here. They're kind of in two different groups, uh, geographically, I'm saying. So I don't care how you want to do them. There's like seven all together. But uh, they're all for the same people? They're all, all these are for James Valley, and they're all the, the contractors, K and H, who's been doing all their boring for the last 10 years. And they're all boring. It's nothing real crazy here. I'll just outline where they're at. Uh, north half mile on Dakota Street, right north of Fairgrounds. Up to Prairie Wood, that's one of them on the east side. You'll see when I go through all these, they're connecting up a loop that runs from Road 14 over to Dakota Street and down to Fairgrounds Road. And then uh, I'll double check here. I think it goes all the way over here and then north and south a little bit. It's all for telecommunications. So. Uh, that's one of them. The next one is basically from Dakota Street or Road 4 over to 14, those three miles in the South Ditch. The work that we're doing is a side note on these intersections when we get to do them. Uh, we're filling. I mean, so this isn't going to affect anything. We'll just be stripping off the topsoil and then hauling material in because we're adding width. So this doesn't affect any of that. And that one's going the other way. So that's from Dakota Street over to Road 10, the South Ditch. I think you kind of see the theme here. Brown County 10 between the 13s on the East Ditch. Just a, mostly a pasture and the old road, railroad grades in there. And from, I wonder if that's 122nd here, 129. Yeah, so that's the north, the north 13, Florida mile from 10 over to 281. So if you want to approve those four as a batch, you could. I don't see any issues with them. Mm -hmm. Okay, motion for a fish bath, second and from Sutton. Any questions on those right away? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carries. The other ones are up uh, in the Westport vicinity. This is uh, Road 9 going into Westport, South Ditch. Brown County 9 from 281 out to Road 6. And the last one goes from Road 9 down to Road 11 on 6. Again, there's nothing real crazy there. Uh, side note, I just got a, a message. The DOT is going to be replacing a bridge right there and a bridge right there. And i got to be careful here. Uh, you media folks can actually call the DOT because I could get this wrong, but I think it's in 19. And they have to use this as a detour so that will get overlaid. I might have mentioned that before, I can't remember, but I'm hoping that that all holds true. Because they're they're going to use 9? Yeah, there's not a good enough uh, detour anywhere else. I said, well, you could take Road 7 back, you know, <laughs> that they gave us back in the day, but uh, that's all gravel and probably doesn't meet their requirements for trucks use a truck detour so they're asking about using this and I said sure they'll pay for that overlay then yep yep it's like 10 miles now all the way to the border yep and I think part of them they got to do a little bit for wow. McPherson County too that's so the one we need to repair it's not a overlay it's not a done 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 deal but I mean that's the concept right now well, that so would be great so yeah no kidding. I got a little off track there but I would recommend these Right away, I will as well. Second by Feldheim, second by Hanson. Any questions on those? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carries. Um, department update, same kind of thing. We're still paving and 
we're, we stopped at Road 10, we blade laid down here a little bit. Today we're not uh, doing any asphalt stuff. Starting on Thursday we're going to start chip sealing at Frederick. Then we'll go to Claremont. Then we're going down to Mansfield. And then we got some in here on Road 14. That's sort of the first wave of chip sealing we're going to do. We'll start that on Thursday. Um, I think last week I asked you what you did on rainy days, so well, now, now we can find here's out. My, here's my Tom Fishback list of what <laughs> we do on a rainy day. <laughs> <laughs> Today specifically, because I knew you were going to ask me, uh, we're hauling P-Rock from Summit with three trucks. We're stockpiling P-Rock in Manfield, which we'll get there sometime next week to do that. Uh, the part that we paved a couple years ago, so we'll go from 281 into Road 4 and back. And moving our equipment, all our sealing stuff up to Frederick, so we're ready to go on Thursday. And I got a couple couple guys out checking culverts since we haven't had enough rain since the runoff to see how the culverts are functioning. We're making a pass around to see if we have any issues there, which uh, we get notified pretty quickly when we have culvert issues. So. They have a little maintenance stuff they do while they're doing it. So. But uh, that's about it. Unless anybody's got looking questions. Good. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's uh, taken more mix than I had anticipated, but uh, you know, I'm I don't want to do stuff that <coughs> breaks up right away anymore. So we'll just keep coming down the road, and and uh, we'll make the road 11. It's probably about the first of August. I would hope by the time the fair is going that we're pretty much got that wrapped up. But we'll see. All these rain days we've been getting really set us back. So. <laughs> Poor guy, yeah. And if you looked out the window, we, we, asked about the we milled up the parking lot yesterday. Um, I would have expected to have more issues, especially where the buildings were. So we'll just have to see here. Uh, well, today will be good for it to get a little rain, but we'll be back to work and level it up. Probably have to add a little bit of gravel, but not, not a lot. I'm talking a couple truckloads. And uh, and then we'll get it all ready, and uh, probably gonna have Doug Bra pave it. Uh. Oh! oh. 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 <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> Five bucks. <laughs> <laughs> My train of thought gets derailed for easy. No. Uh, hopefully in the next couple of weeks we'll have it completely done, but in the interim we will, my, I anticipate we'll get it shaped up, get it close, and then we'll be able to use it until we get the exact day that, that it's going to be paved. So what do they just put like a two inch on top of that? Yeah, and it'll actually be a little less than that on this end, um, and then the way we're going to do it, because we, we didn't tear down to the sidewalk on this side, so he'll have to come from a zero, so you'll have real thin along the edge, we'll have to patch some stuff, and it, it'll be alright though. Um, so that's what's going on with that. Uh, that's about. Oh, we milled up the landfill road. Boy, that's nice. I would really like to just leave it like that. But well, uh, Mike's okay with it. We've been talking. We'll see. Uh, we'll see how we progress here through the summer. But that's going to stay gravel here for a period because I mean you don't have that opportunity always. To put so that how much, much did you mill up? That how many? The whole thing. Clear over to the state highway. Yeah. Well, from the tracks. When they put that, they put a turning lane out there a couple years ago, and then yep. they, they paved back to the tracks. So up to the tracks, it's okay. So from north of the tracks up to 12 W's. I see. Okay. The, the piece north of there is fine. But not to, not to 12, though. Just to 12 W. Well, from 12 W south to the railroad tracks. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, so like, like, yeah. Okay. like 80 percent of that mile is yeah. up. Okay. But it's not too bad. But the, the there's an opportunity there because now you can put truck traffic on it substantial truck traffic on it and let them pound it down for a while and it should help show where the problems are but that stuff always looks so good after you mill it that I'm like wow you know why yeah. why was there soft spots did we do it with our own miller or? no we had the other guys do it we did this one with ours uh -huh. if you uh rather lay a uh, layer on top can a guy just put some kind of a, like a chip seal oil and just kind of keep kirking it that way and let it build itself up without putting gravel in um because won't that oil kind of hold them old uh, asphalt grindings together if a guy keeps doing that a couple times? Yeah, the you know you don't you don't get much you almost, you get almost no structure out of a 
out of a chip seal. I mean, after so many years, you might, you know. Um, yeah, I thought that would work too. I'm saying it wouldn't work. I mean, that's and that's basically what a blotter road is. Um, and we'll look and see how much gravel we end up with. We built that road from scratch when Russ was here, and he was a stickler on getting gravel under there. But they went through a couple pieces where they didn't find gravel, and I was, I mean, I was there when we built it, and so I know we put it down there. So I don't know if it went down. But yeah, we can um, we can uh, shoot it with oil and prime it and put it, you know, throw one chip seal on there and just watch what it does, it, you know. Well, didn't they kind of do that over McPherson County on uh, Batonka South there? Wasn't that kind of ground up and they just come back and put a sealer on it? And that kind of turned almost back into, back into a paved road. Yep. Well, that, what you're describing is what we did at 3A, except that failed for another reason. There's too much PI in the gravel that was on top, but that's a different story. It held the moisture in there, and then when things freeze them, frozen, thawed, whatever the proper grammar there is, <laughs> <laughs> it, it caused it to, to spread out in all directions, you know what I mean? It's not like it's in the wheel pass or anything like that. It's almost like a spider web deal. That's why they are having trouble with that one. It had to do with the gravel on top. South of Houghton, we did exactly what you're saying. We added more gravel. Or even on road 10, if we wanted <coughs> wanted to do that, and I have to be careful because I don't want to do that, but <laughs> that you could shape it up, roll it, water it, get it tight, and then do what you're saying. We did that on the road there at Groton that they've since paved just to, you know, we were over there sealing, we had enough left to do that, and we shot some on there, and it actually held up decent. So it'll work. It's, it's basically a blotter, and most people don't know that, but a good, I mean, almost all the roads before that were hard surface, say before, well, you got the paver in 90. So anything that was hard surface prior to 90, most likely, I would say 75% of the roads were blotters. Um, you know, and that's something we're trying to do a little more of because you're looking at 40,000 a mile versus 130,000 a mile. So if you can pick the spots where that'll work for you, um, you know, that's, but there's, there's some locations you know, when you've got massive corn harvest that you kind of know that isn't going to work going in. And the other thing is it has to do with the road condition when we started into it. I mean, if it's something that, even if it's patched up and rough, but there's enough asphalt there to hold it together, then that's what we try to overlay or patch or whatever. It's some of those where we got the mixture and the gravel and all that where you just, well, where we mill over and start over. But we've, we've tried that, and I'm not against, you know, maybe that would be a worthwhile thing. Um, I want to put traffic out there for a while and see what kind of failure we yeah, have. And mush but the soft spots. Yep. But yeah, or if you. Cyclical maintenance work, but <coughs> as I said before, you got to get things to a certain condition before you can maintain them, you know. That was a long answer, Doug. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions for Dirk? Did they get the uh, day brown? I didn't, bladed? I didn't uh, call follow-up yet to see if they actually got down there yesterday, but I would assume that he's usually pretty good about that one and calling him, so. I left him a voicemail saying that it that should be addressed. It, you know, it's kind of a bugger down there because we've got those four miles of gravel and we've got those two miles around uh, in the very southeast corner of the county and there's no other gravel down there. Yeah. So you gotta, you're got dead heading way the heck down there for six miles sometimes. And it's almost easier if I can find a guy down there with the blade to just hire them and have them do it. That makes sense. Yeah. So. All right. I'm good. Maybe also a rain day we can get something figured out for Hacka. Yep, I tell you what, I'll get, I kind of, I was gone last week, I kind of did sure. put that on the back burner and our friends up there haven't called and told me about the, the horrors up there, but uh, oh, okay. I will, I will follow up on that this week. I apologize. I should, I should get that addressed. No worries. Just let us know what you find out. Okay. Anything All else? Right. Um, I'll be, uh, I've got uh, DOT research or tomorrow, so I'll be going to the pier, but you can call me if something's up. Okay. Sounds great. Thank All you right. much. Thanks, Thank you. All right, let's go on to here. List Max Minutes, June 6th. Ooh. Moved by Hanson, seconded by Fishback. Any questions or corrections to those minutes? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carries. Claims and payroll. Move. Moved by Sutton. Second. Seconded by Feldheim. Any questions on those? 
All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carries. HR report. Moved. Moved by Fishback. Second. Seconded by Hansen. Questions? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carries. Auditor's report of account. Moved. Moved by Second. Hellheim. Seconded by Sutton. Everybody got that? No questions? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carries. Homeland Security Equipment Transfers. Oh, sorry. Moved by Sutton, seconded by Feldheim. Those are the maps that you asked about. Okay. All in favor, say aye. Thanks. Thanks for the opposed nay. Motion carried. Okay, bingo application for Elm Lake Association. Moved. Second. Second. Moved by Feldheim, seconded by Hansen. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Okay. Opposed nay. Motion carried. Sheriff report. Move it. Moved by Fishback. Second. Second by Sutton. Any questions on that report? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed nay. Motion carries. There was a request from um, Mike Scott to increase his landfill change fund from three hundred to four hundred dollars. Anybody have problems with that? Need a motion on that? Yeah. Was two well, the three. request was from two no. to three, but you clarified that it right. all was three to four. They keep a hundred in their cash drawer at the window, two hundred in the safe, and Mike was just talking about the 200 in the Hanson, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carries. Uh, leases, there were two of them. Move. Second. Moved by Sutton, seconded by Fishback. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carries. Uh, resolution 38-17, this is the drought declaration petition to the governor. Okay, did everybody get the chance to look at the yeah. revised version there? Yeah, it looks good, I'll move it. Okay, motion from Second. Sutton, seconded by Fishback. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carries. And uh, there was a fair contract. Move it. Moved by Sutton. Second. Seconded by Fishback. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carries. Um, that's all I have except for my letter. And I didn't know if that was open discussion or exec. Um, kind of addresses that. one person. I suppose we could have a conversation about step increases in general and okay. not address specific We should make it more universal, if we're going to do something, make it more universal where it would apply to maybe a second year, second ten year. Uh, that, this is what I did. Okay, this is the first ten year. Yeah. And, and I'm thinking rather than have a specific amount, maybe we could What's the average increase from year to year? I did. It's the same as the state's attorneys. Right. No, I understand that. Yeah. But if it's fifteen, twenty cents, I don't know what it's it been is. Been about thirty-eight-ish. Okay. 40. So if we just went in a second ten-year tier at X number of cents, that way you wouldn't have put a specific amount in. You would know that it would be thirty-five cents a year for every year in the second ten-year period, universally across the whole county. Plus whatever raises we give. Right. Right. Rather that way you're treating it, now. That way you're treating everyone maybe more fairly. Yeah, I don't know. Treat them all alike is right. what you're saying. Rather than have it be one person specific. Well I'm, I'm just throwing it out. Thirty four cents is what it is. Okay. I'm thinking down the road the elections is pretty specific right. and they have to be very knowledgeable. So those those two and I'm think, but I'm thinking world. other department heads might feel the same way about people. Well, that's how I felt when uh, state's attorney and the sheriff and the director of equalization came in, but that didn't happen when those were increased. But maybe now is the opportunity to do what maybe we should have done, so I'm just throwing it out for discussion. And we talked about doing raise and, and talking about different ways of doing payroll yeah. about that time, too. Maybe now is the time, like you say. So if the average is 34 cents, if we set it at 30 cents instead of a nickel for the second 10 years, every year they would know they would get a 30 cent increase 
Well, every one of them is different right now, so it can be a few cents. The it can be up to yeah. mm -hmm. it, would it make could it be up thirty cents. It could be a quarter. Counting for would be much easier if we just did it this way in a thirty cent. Or That's whatever. just plugging a number. Do they do equal responsibilities? For their department head, I think they all think their job is specific knowledge for whatever they have, you know. Because if you've been here 10 years and you're already into your second 10 years, to me a nickel isn't much. No, so if we would go, face. well that's <laughs> what I'm saying, if we went to well, just a flat amount. It well, didn't used to be. Right, when well, wages were a lot lower. Or something. Right. Yeah. So that's just food for thought. Set it at a set amount and treat everyone the same. Why don't we, would you send this letter, um, get us copies of that, and then we'll take the payroll home, kind of do some thinking yeah. on it, and put it on the agenda for next week so we have some, yeah. some time to do some figuring on the different, you know, in each category, it'd be nice to go look and see what those increments are, how they vary. Any other questions? But keep in mind, you change much, you're going to install your budget process. Yeah. Right. Well, and that's going to have to be part of the labor negotiation. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Unless somebody was ready to take action today, it's the I, I did the first I saw of it this morning, so I didn't get much time to think about it. Well, when's your next department head meeting? Are we July fifth. So maybe maybe you want to get a little feedback from the other department heads too, as far as their suggestions. Mm -hmm. Any other questions or comments on that? Okay. Well, thank you for that. Mm -hmm. Anything else for us, Max? Nope. Gary? Uh, you mentioned the NACO credentials. I have the form to authorize the chair to sign for Dwayne as designee and me as alternate. Where's it at? Columbus, Ohio. Columbus, Ohio this year. Okay, we got a motion from Hanson. Is there a second? Second. Second from Feldheim. Any questions on that? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed nay. Motion carries. Still we like a fun place. You can go. We leave on the 20th of July. We got a quote from uh, Fisher, Gary Fisher's building across the street apparently was hit by a payloader this winter and, and so he got quotes for the dents in the building that amounted to $685. I don't know what you want to do with this but one of the things we discussed with them and I talked to Dirk about is we do have uh, a fair amount of guardrail that they have available in the yard that we can put up and to, Where's to the cause that it's not, not to happen in the future. I think that'd be so, a good idea to put a guardrail. So, um, and as far as the quote goes, I don't know what you want to do with that. And is that the only accident that's ever happened over there? Or has there been Apparently cars? it's been hit a few times. Yeah. So. I think the guardrail would be money well spent. Okay. Yeah, as I long agree. as we have it on hand. We can anyway. tell them that's the direction we're going and then we'll see what if he has any issues. I, if, you, if you needed approval, I would say just go ahead and approve that $600 payment yeah. get it fixed and, okay. and instruct them to put in the guardrail. Agree. I'll make that motion. Yeah. Second. Motion from Sutton, second right. from Fishback. Any questions? Got a lot of money. Wants to get a big care. Favor, say aye. I would think that insurance would cover it. I don't know what our deductible is. But was the claim put in? Did they put it? No, didn't sound like it. From So maybe well, they, they should be. Maybe they should pay it. When you said payload, I guess I thought you why was our payload. Why don't we wait and then find out for sure who hit yeah, it? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll withdraw well, my motion. We the guardrail. Put the guardrail. So yeah. I'll withdraw my motion to pay the bill because I yeah. really okay. don't know if that's our responsibility. Yeah, I, you want to just amend it to do the guardrail? Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, all in favor of doing the guardrail, and then on the other aspect, we'll just yeah, proceed some and check the yeah. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Should be on our uh, insurance at all. Right before I walked into the meeting, I got a investigative services request for welfare. Um, do you have any concerns about it? It could potentially save the county up to $50,000. Well, absolutely. <laughs> if, if you're willing to have me contact him to check into this, uh, I'll do that. Okay. We're checking into this. It like would be. All right. Um, I talked to Larry about we, we did the the uh, resolution for the drought, um, one of the things that was brought up was the various fireworks things that are going on throughout the year and, and uh, Larry mentioned uh, we could probably include that as part of the burn ban process or there's various ways to tackle it but we certainly want to make sure that like the city has their say on, on like the Wiley Park celebration and things but but um, just didn't well, know if you, know. you need, we needed to discuss that anymore at this point or not. Well, I think we, I think anybody who puts in a per permit should know that it's a possibility that could happen. It's it's no right doubt. on their permit. Yeah, it was on that. Mm -hmm. So there, there's a difference between the displays and just the general yeah, public exactly. shooting them off. Displays are usually the fire departments yeah, supervised, got the training and everything. Exactly. There, the lake or a pond. Or yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's all organized and mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah, you know, and I, it puts the, those dealers in kind of a tough spot. Really they have to order inventory, and right. but boy, you can't predict what's going to happen in the no. next two weeks here. No, it's a constant okay, gathering. Next week, next week, week after that, there's right. Fourth of July, and we're yep. at. Mm -hmm. yeah. well, like that one dealer, he, he's not going to even buy this year. He's too dry. Yeah, yeah. he might change his mind today. I don't know. He's been driving around the country. I mean, it's not only Aberdeen that uses it. All right. All right. That's all I had. We it's can't control that. Any more no. Decisions. So the thing you have, though, is these people are sitting there deciding whether they're going to order $20,000 inventory or $10,000 inventory. They have to decide to order. A lot of them are, I've talked to, are holding them up in their warehouses in Sioux Falls or wherever. So they almost need a decision to what we're going to do today because they don't know whether they should accept their order or leave their order there or take half their order or what they're doing. And that's the thing I understand that, you know, they don't know what to, what to do either. Yeah. And they can't return everything. There is a return policy, but they can't return everything that they get as a supply. So by not making a decision, they still don't know what they should do for inventory, whether they should order it all or not order any or a business decision. Right. It's not ours. That's it's not, not on our shoulders. No. We can't predict bust out the crystal ball and tell them, hey, no. we we're going to get two more We don't even know if we need to buy a combine or not either, do we, Rachel? That's right. <laughs> you may no, have could, we the the sh could we set in the shed till next yeah, year? Yeah, yeah, it's it's a business, with whether it's a Christmas tree or whatever it might be, it, it, they have to kind of judge the public and, and the, their market area. But I don't know, as dry as it is, I think our Burn band kind of says what it is, and our contracts for displays. So that the other cover the the small stands. No, the right. small stands are and they that's a their business. first day of sales is June 27th. So yeah. you've got two weeks <coughs> before the first day of sales. But they still have to order. Most of them have ordered in January. My brother has been a dealer for he's had a stand mm -hmm. for. 50 years. Yeah, I can't believe they have to order. I mean, they have to have their order in the They have to have their order in, in January. Yeah. yeah. Just a business decision. The game will yep, have to take. Mm -hmm. uh, Duane, you don't know. Hopefully, some of it they can use the following year. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. part of being business. New Year's. Yeah, yeah. 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 New Year's. It's like planting a crop. Okay, any other questions on that? Okay. Gary, do you have anything else for us? No, that was all I had. Okay. Larry, anything for us this week? Nothing this week. Okay. Anything from the commissioners? I've provided everyone the information from Sue on the Granary just for your review as we start the budget process. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Anything from the folks in attendance today? Oh, where was that guardrail going to be for the first? Right across the road on Railroad Avenue over here. Okay. Next to our parking lot. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Yep. All right. I entertain a motion to adjourn. 
So moved. Moved by Sutton. Second. Second by Feldheim. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed nay. Motion carries. We'll be adjourned.